If you're somebody that lives on planet Earth, then I'm sure, like me, you're experiencing self-quarantining, self-distancing, isolation. This can be a time where you give up, you feel bored, or this can be a time where you create one of the best opportunities of your life. This time has given us the opportunity to look inward. And one of the things that's helped me the most is making my home my sanctuary. And so I want to share with you a few of my favorite tips to make my home where we're spending pretty much 24 hours a day in our sanctuary. So my first tip for you is to clear the energy of your home, especially now that you're going to be spending so much time there. When you clear the energy of your home, you're able to clear out any old emotions, any emotions that have been carried on from old fights or arguments or boredom, or even seeing your home as a place of just chilling and relaxing because now your home might be somewhere where you have to be really, really productive if you work for yourself or if you're working for a company where you're working from home. So one of my favorite things to do is using a sage to smudge my home. Smudge actually apparently kills 94% of the bacteria in the air and so smudge is a great tool. Next is Palo Santo. So I actually recently ordered a bulk order of Palo Santo for my office and then right after ordering it, Googled it and found out that Palo Santo is actually not the best for the forest because they're cutting down too many of the trees. So if you can find an alternative, either a Palo Santo spray or a candle, what Palo Santo does is it raises the vibration of the room that you're in. Make sure also when you buy Palo Santo that it's from a fair trade farmer so that the farmers are getting paid what's fair to them. But Palo Santo is a really great spiritual tool to raise the vibe after you've cleared the energy of the room using sage to smudge. It's also really important while you're doing this to open up a window, let it out. And if you're at home, you're already in self-isolation, Amazon isn't making orders anymore. If you don't have these tools that I just talked about, it's totally okay. Just clap. The most important thing in setting the energy of your space is your intention. So just make sure to clap in all of the corners in any space that you haven't been in and you'll be able to bring new, fresh energy and movement to that space. My next tip for making your home a sanctuary is to have a home for all of your things. I actually grew up as someone who was very unorganized and so organization didn't come naturally to me. It felt like a struggle, it felt stressful, it felt hard for so long until I learned from Marie Kondo to make a home for everything. So now I always have a home for my keys, for electronics, for jackets, for glasses, all these things. And I found that it has actually found, it has actually saved me hours because I'm not looking for things. I just make sure to always put things back in their home no matter what and then when I need them the next time I don't have to remember where the heck did I put it because I always put it back in its home. I actually hired a really amazing organizer called Merchandise Maison so go check her out on Instagram. Next, make doing your morning rituals really really easy by also having a home for your journals your workbooks the book that you're reading so it's always easy to find and everything is in one place a huge part of making your home your sanctuary is making sure that before you start your day before checking your phone to see what's happening in the world or watching the news take time for yourself to really get centered to really take some time for you and I have a lot of other videos and content on morning rituals but some of the things that I love to do are a gratitude practice I feel grateful for the couch that I get to sit on or the journal that I get to write in or the fact that I have a roof over my head and food to eat 
There's so many things to be thankful for at any time in our life. And when we're grateful for these opportunities, we can turn them from challenges into opportunities to create the life that it is that we want. So take that time for you, whether it's five minutes to meditate and visualize or 30 minutes, whatever it is that you need, I can guarantee you when you start your day in a positive energy, it's going to set up the rest of your day for so much more success. Another thing that I've been doing is actually getting ready. I've been doing my makeup and also putting on an outfit, even if it's a super casual outfit, because at this time more than ever, it's so important for us to stay connected. But if you're feeling like, oh, I don't want to show up because I'm not wearing something special or I haven't done my makeup or whatever, you're actually going to make yourself isolate more. I've been doing a lot of FaceTimes, I've been doing Q&As on my Instagram, little live streams, and the fact that I get ready in the morning helps put my mindset and put my energy into a state of even though I'm at home, I'm still going to be productive, I'm still going to get something done today, and this is a great opportunity for me to be creative and create something new. So if it feels good to you, get ready for the day because you can still make so much out of this situation. If you can, integrate a natural touch into your home. I love having plants in my home. It really brings a sense of nature to me. And I think on a subconscious level, when we as humans can see plants and nature, it makes us feel so much more calm and so much more relaxed. If you have a balcony, spend some time on your balcony. I live in Canada, so it's cold, but I've been at least going out on my balcony and just getting a little bit of sun just so I can get some natural vitamin D on my skin, even though it's just on my face. Or if you don't have a balcony, try to sit by a window so you can get some fresh air. Another thing that can really set the tone for your home is a scent. So if you find some incense. I know I had incense in the back of a drawer that I hadn't touched for years. So find some incense, find some candles, find something that can help you create a nice aroma. Maybe you have a body spray or a perfume that makes you feel really good. Clean up and have a scent that you use to set the tone, to help you feel energized, to help you feel refreshed. And while you're working in your home, Having a few candles lit while you're working can really just make you feel so much more calm, so much more zen, and really like your home is a sanctuary. And when you put yourself into that energy of, you know, you have candles lit, you have a beautiful space, think of the energy that's going to go into the work that you do. There's going to be a different tone to what you put out into the world. Another thing that's really helped me is making my bed as soon as I get up. Now, I'm not someone who's always perfect at this, but now that I've been working at home, I've been doing this all the time because then even when I go back into the room, everything looks clean and polished and just really, really calm and relaxing. Another great tip is to clean up as soon as you do something so when you cook a meal rather than leaving your pots and pans in the sink or plates everywhere clean up right after you finish eating a meal or working on something creative because if you're working from home especially in a small space or a condo like i live in every little bit of clutter that's around piles up and whatever is happening on the outside is going to happen on the inside, just like whatever is happening on the inside is going to be seen on the outside. So if your outside world is cluttered, if you have old plates and things around, that's really going to pile up and affect your mental headspace. Also, declutter as much as you can. Keep the things out that you use on a daily basis if you need to, but put everything out away. You don't need to have the shampoo that you bought three years ago and used once in your shower. You can put it away or if you're not using it, maybe it's time to throw out some old makeup products or things you're no longer using. That way, when you walk through your home, you feel so rich and so successful and so wealthy because the only things that you have out 
it's almost like having a display of your favorite things to look at and every single thing in your home just feels like a work of art it's easy to find whatever it is that you need when you've decluttered and you don't have the things that you no longer use piling up all around you and this is a great time to give away what you don't need and you don't have space for so i hope you loved my tips for making your home your sanctuary and i'd love to hear what are your tips that you're using to make your home a sanctuary 